here what it do what it do welcome back to my channel just jamming really quick to a little bit of uh justin timberlake you know one of the few white boys okay that we say got a little seasoning okay uh but yeah i wanted to come and talk to you guys really fast because i actually had a little bit of time and i know i haven't talked about this show but i really kind of want to do like little quick updates about what i'm watching because i'm still watching it but i haven't quite decided yet if i want to review it so y'all drop it in the comments and let me know but um yeah i wanted to watch a couple more episodes you know before i started chitter chattering but um you know i still want to do a quick little like i said a quick little check-in on and just give my opinion on what i'm seeing so far um and uh i gotta watch um married to medicine i gotta watch rounds of potomac uh, but like I said, right now, y'all, what I'm talking about, Love and Marriage DC. Y'all, you guys know that we have been literally waiting on Love and Marriage DC for literally a whole year. So now that we're, everything that we're talking about is long past overdue. So I really don't know how this is going to happen, like how this is going to play out when we even get to the reunion. Because like old problems beget new problems beget old problems, you know? Um, but yeah, you guys, Love and Marriage DC um there seems to be just a little bit of quarreling going on between ashley and a few of the ladies um how do i feel about ashley you know ashley the first season everybody was into her she had that little bit of bitchiness but every girl kind of has you know but you know sometimes the 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 um the i don't want to say i don't want to say like how do I put this? Um, I feel like Ashley definitely has her has her mean girl moments, you know? And she definitely kind of displayed that. Sorry, I'm looking over here at my dog having a good old time playing in this grass. Um, she is just boy it must be nice to just ain't do nothing all day but lay in the grass and and roll around boy i tell you must be real nice i gotta pay bills no nothing boy i tell you pets live the life but anyways like i said there's definitely you know ashley she loves to have these mean girl moments where it's like i'm a check a hoe moment and she kind of low-key did that this episode or like last episode when it came to joy it seems like i guess ashley couldn't wait to throw at joy like girl don't forget who brought you here and so joy's like like you feel like you made me like what like and ashley's like well like a thank you and it's just kind of like girl when you bring somebody on the show the last thing you want to do is do this you know you want to dangle it in front of their face because i'm gonna tell you what the last that you did that yikes um shout out to mary to medicine but well, i tell you they vote her ass off the island so you might want to be careful how you want to throw stuff in their face ashley just as a you know a fair warning but her and arena ended up getting to it after the whole party at her house because arena after all the hustle and bustle she saw joy first and went to go check on joy and ashley got triggered because um as ashley and arena were sitting down because that was the first thing in the episode they were talking about what happened last episode um you know they were discussing you know the party and uh Raina was like girl I just checked on who I saw first uh you know you're still my friend I don't want to like fall out with you but Ashley was like girl when I say friend I mean you my friend you know and I take you know loyalty very seriously so I think for Ashley she's definitely one of those friends of it's like if I don't like her I don't like him but you don't like him either type situation but for Arena, that's kind of difficult because she's like, I'm friends with you and Joy. So it's like, you, Arena did mention like, she would say things like, oh, you know, oh, you out with, uh, you out with Joy, your new best friend, things like that. So there might possibly be a little bit of like, it's not jealousy, but there definitely is, um, where there's this thing like where women do where they just want to make sure that they high up on the hierarchy. And I think that's where Ashley, she's trying to to reside and make sure that people understand that she's at the top of the, the hierarchy um 
But yeah, so they end up hashing it out, honestly. They were like, girl, I got anger issues, but you do too. We just gonna call it square. You know, we both was in the heat of the moment. But, um, you know, uh, your friend Joy, matter of fact, you want to talk about, she allegedly said I was jealous of her and all types of stuff. And the last thing that girl didn't tell me is I'm jealous because ain't nobody jealous of the petties. And so now Arena is just kind of like, how's this going to play out going forward? So speaking of Joy, Joy and Winter, boy, Miss Winter had on that platinum blonde that platinum blonde <laughs> shout out to fucking not even that blonde okay um she had that blonde uh uh pixie cut on and basically her and joy were catching up they've kind of been you know guarding her friendship and you know joy checks in with her they've been working out la die and joy basically lets winter know what the update is and she was like girl tell me why ashley threw me out her party and she was like what you a part of the kickdown club too <laughs> you know because y'all know ashley got uh ashley kicked with her out last season but ashley love well, she love kicking some bitches out don't she um but yeah um she basically was like yeah me and ashley we 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 no go i came in on some trying to you know rectify and be cool but it's very obvious that she felt like she made me. It got to the point in the conversation where she felt like, I brought you here. And Winter's face kind of gave the, like, for real? She was like, Duh. my reaction exactly, you know? So at this point, Joy's kind of feeling like, I ain't effing with it. You know, I'm going to keep that bitch at a distance. But for Winter, we all see that Winter actually have kind of garnered a friendship here lately. So... I don't know how that's going to play out as we go on in the season. Um, because, you know, Winter and Arena are kind of in this weird spot where they literally both are friends with both Arena and Ash. Uh, well, I mean, both with Joy and Ashley. So they're in like this Switzerland ground that they're trying to, you know, navigate. Um, but yeah, so um, they ended up talking about something else. I think it was Clifton and Clifton basically you know, talking with Quick or whatever, and, um, yeah, and so, uh, speaking of Quick, uh, DJ Quicksilver, um, you know, Lil' Jamie, he felt some type of way, uh, after watching the episode of Quick basically calling him a bad kid, he was like, you know, Jamie's like a bad kid, who, like, who's entitled or something like that, and so, him and his impulses, he went on social media and started it typing away and basically was like all types of stuff like, man, DJ, take the DJ off your name. It's foul. Da, 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 da. And so, you know, Ashley and Raina call each other. was like, okay, we see this is getting out of hand. Let's just, you know, come together and, you know, have a real conversation face to face because we don't want this playing out over social media. So that's what they end up doing later on in the episode. But let's talk about uh Clifton, Clifton and Miss Miss uh uh what's her name? Carmen. 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 You know I don't never want to be like, oh, keep your eye on that bitch. Like, you know, I've never been one of those women because if there's anybody typically you got to keep your eye on, it's these niggas, okay? Um, but for some reason, Carmen, I know you're playing into the throuple of it all. You know, you're just going along, I don't know, for shits and gigs because the way she came in, the hug, the scratching the beard, the you know the smell good like it was given too close for comfort and you know i'm one of those people who like to give you know individuals the benefit of the doubt but joy all i'm gonna say is keep your good eye on that bitch is what i'm saying uh because it's not the fact that her and clifton previously had a, a connection it definitely has more to deal with their interaction now and see, Clifton, I see you. I see your game, Clifton. I see your game, Clifton. See, Clifton, what he sees is a woman who want to help, who willing to do the work. So he going to flirt with her just enough to get his shit done because he really ain't into Carmen. Like, he don't want Carmen. But he plays into this sh because it keeps her on the hook of constantly doing his shit, okay? 
And Carmen is definitely just one of those girls where it's like, come here, baby. You, you, oh, you know, she hurt your feelings. Your wife don't just don't understand me. Just don't under, She don't just don't understand you. Just lay your head right here, baby, right on my bosom, you know, and, you know, cry it all out. You know, that's what Carmen give me. Um, But Carmen basically started kind of, you know, sliding at, um, at, uh, at Joy because Clifton has all these things done, you know, but the copyright and so she's like what's going on with the copyright he was like yeah joy said she filed it but what she didn't tell me was it was a year long that it could take up to a year and so carmen's like yeah that ain't good like uh, you know it's just let's just take this off of joy's plate you know she has so much going on you know just give it to me because as your pr person like you know i i i really you know want to help this you know work for you and if that's just too much for for joy then like 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 let me do it like you know whatever run it through me like i'm gonna be the person to help you with that and so of course clifton your ass falling right into the trap but also he could be playing carmen because is you paying for carmen services <laughs> <laughs> that's all i'm saying y'all that's all i'm saying because is you really paying for services or not um but um yeah carmen bitch mm, mm. and then the way she was like yeah you know that's what people say it's the throuple anyways and then she was like sister wife sounds nice and i was like this really would play sister wife because carmen's one of them girls who want a nigga only half the time like I, I, when you like kind of have a lifestyle being independent and stuff like that you really only want a nigga like part-time um and clifton look like that big bear you could you can cut along like be sneaky links with um but yeah clifton and carmen that's that that could be a recipe for disaster um Sorry, y'all, if y'all hear barking in the back. Um, my dog, she going off. Um, we live in the country, so it ain't just everything for them to bark at. So, um, yeah, what happened after that? So, winter. Winter, y'all, was in the studio uh, singing her song. She's in her love mode right now with Yosh. Is it Yoshan? Yoshan, I think. Um, and Or Yusan, something like that. Um, and her sister comes in the studio and, she, you know, which is like, hey, you know, I'm in love. And this is where your son, like, you really, your slip showed because the sister was like, oh, have y'all shared love? And she was like, yeah, you know, um, he finally said it to me after, you know, when he got home and he finally told me on the phone. And it's like giving real, you know how that dudes, you know, wait for you to tell they they listen to the woman to give off what she's looking for and then they become that that's what he's giving is that's what he's kind of giving me something about him just screams alert 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 sneaky like he's one of those dudes that you don't realize till too late like that that he he's sneaky um and that he got his ways about him that are very much unhealthy she was like oh you know he's a good communicator but you know not with his emotions and it's like <laughs> that's a problem because as we know women are constantly doing the emotional labor in relationships and that shit is tired okay um so the sister basically was like girl keep your good eye on him because you know you like to fall in love fast and she was like really she was like girl you don't think you fall in love fast your last two but she didn't count the baby daddy because they got pregnant. That's why they had to, you know, run to the courthouse. But Winter, I, yeah, don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get lost in the fairy tale because that's where they catch you, hoes, in the fairy tale. Don't look over here, okay? Don't look over at all this sh okay? Just look out there, you know, picture the white picket fence and the kids. Like, all this shit that don't exist yet. <laughs> that's how he's in his role, okay? <laughs> got you in fairy tales and fallacies all right um so yeah uh jamie we finally have jamie arena um the silvers and little jamie you know papa squat at the crib and they have it out here's one thing i noticed about quick quick he know he tiny but he want to come off mighty okay he definitely has this you know 
gumption about him of trying to, you know, obviously, you know, they call it that Napoleon complex. He definitely looks for moments where he can sun somebody, you know, and I think little Jamie, although he might truly have good intentions uh, for Jamie, I do think he definitely looks for those moments where it's like he can, he's going to be his quote unquote mentor, you know, whatever. And I think all of those things really is just for, for Quick's ego. Like I really do. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, you know, little Jamie, he basically, his thing was why you like had to come here, pair me to your son as if like I was a nobody you know, you call me bad, um, and you talking about, oh, he don't do nothing, like, he ain't got no job, da 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 and see, this is where Quick called, uh, Arena and really Jamie out on that shit, because here's the truth, Quick felt comfortable doing that shit because of you, Jamie, calling your son a bum, that's really the truth, you talking about, oh, I call my son worse, you know, I call, you call him all types of assholes, lazy, whatever, bum, like, you in doing that if you as a father can disrespect him then what do you think other people are going to do jamie you don't even respect your son you call him a bum so you think uh, and you call him like a acting out bad so if you do that as his dad you think other people aren't gonna feel you know entitled to do the same thing whether it's right or wrong so I think that's where Jamie need to learn his lesson. But we know he's a he's a he's an ex cop. I grew up with a cop uh, a cop father. So and he was in the military. So I know how you niggas get down. Um, y'all ain't never wrong. And it's your way of the highway. That's just the truth. And oh, that's something Arena has said before in previous seasons. Um, and it's clear that Jamie's impulsivities are bleeding over to little jamie's impulsivities in which he felt like oh you know i'm gonna get angry and you know tweet about quick instead of like quick said being a grown man and hit me up you can hit me about the clubs you know but you can't hit me up when you got a problem you know that's not what real men do um you know we got all hyped up you know quick to my own care you know i said what i meant and you know i'm not taking it back Little Jamie had to be like, nigga, who you cussing at? That part, he said, yo, who you cussing at? Like, ain't nobody even cussing at you. Quick definitely was, like, getting hype. And it was just like, sir, sir, sir. No matter how much you yell, you still gonna be five foot six the rest of your life. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm not height shaming, but, like, I like we know how little guys, you know, you might yell six foot, but you still gonna be five six your whole life. Sorry. Sorry, Quick. Um, but yeah, little Jamie and him basically, you know, they, they made up and, you know, I do appreciate Ashley's approach with little Jamie. Cause like she said, she's like, you know, I grew with a mom who all she ever told me like, oh, you bad, you know, you this and that. So I understand how that's a trigger. Like somebody automatically deeming you as like a bad child and maybe not worthy of like good things happening to you. You know, that does affect self-esteem. But here's one thing too about little Jamie he he's depressed if i've ever seen depression on anybody it literally is written all over his face and y'all are not going to inspire and uplift your son by constantly calling him a bum and a low life jamie um is going to require not just talking about it being about it and which i offer the question of in what ways are you walking step by step with your son and what and what he wants to achieve? Not just getting him a job somewhere, actually asking Jamie what career he wants to accomplish, you know, the plans that he needs to make in order to accomplish those things. Firstly, starting with his mental health, because like I said, homie is depressed. Um and he he very much has low self-esteem. And he doesn't have a clear vision of his worth. And I'm sure a lot of that has, like, he's seeing what his mom and dad accomplished. And see, since, since he doesn't have any of those things going on, I'm sure that only compounds on him, you know, feeling a lot worse than oh, the fact that your daddy called you a bum ass on top of it. That's not going to be very motivating. Hate to break it to you. So um, whatever's happening in the, in the, the, the Tyler house, 
it's not conducive to little Jamie. Like he needs to find maybe a mentor outside of his, not maybe, he do. That's just because if, if Jamie was a good mentor, his son wouldn't be where he at right now. Not to say that kids don't act out and shit, but you know, what parents got to acknowledge is your part that you play in, in where a child, you know, is in life, good or bad, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, Lil Jamie, he's made his little decisions and stuff. And, um, I think he feels like because he made those bad decisions, he can't turn back. But the thing is, Lil Jamie, you can, like, you can turn back. Like, you're not going to be those bad decisions forever. Um, but yeah, you know, um, he ends up, like I said, cooling it with quick. They, you know, call a truce or whatever. And he good. Um, but moving on, Clifton, he go talk to Joy and basically let her know, like, hey, babe, you know, you've been doing such a good job. But, you know, Carmen, you remember Carmen? Yeah, she said that, you know, <laughs> good job. It, it was giving real good job. But, you know, real pat on the head, babe. like, it was a nice effort. But see here, Clifton, this is why I ain't getting Because you like, oh, Joy's been on everything, you know, because I don't know how to, you know, run a business. Why are you not trying to figure it out? That's my question. You the man in the relationship, but your woman doing all the work. You know, it'd be real crazy to me how to be talking about, like, oh, men going to be the providers and stuff. But a lot of you cause out here wouldn't ain't, wouldn't even have not a god dang thing if it wasn't for your woman. A lot of dudes out here need to start putting more respect on their women because Clifton, like, for what it sounded like the joy, she said, like, all you did was a bottle. She did the, everything else, the design, like, all the other stuff. Why are you, if you knew Joy was overwhelmed with stuff, why are you not picking up trying to do the copyright? And like, as Joy said, like, to, like with your surgery, your back, and then moving, you know, things fell through the cracks. And it's not just on Joy, it's you because, nigga, it's your business. So if she's not up on it, then guess what that means? That means you're not up on it. Hate to break it to you. But, you know, Carmen, you know, she's sliding it real in there like, oh, yeah, it's Joy's fault. No, it's Clifton's. It's Clifton's. Sorry. Uh, but Joy's like, oh, she said that? Mm, okay. Mm, really? Okay. Well, she can take it, but it's getting real. Joy's like, Ugh. Joy's like, that bitch gone one more time. That bitch gone one more time. <laughs> That's what it's given. Um, so, yeah, after that, um... The guys, they go do, I guess, wrestling. Silva's, you know, DJ Quick, he's thinking about investing in wrestling. Wrestling is a good industry, y'all. Um, yeah, it is. Because I used to watch this, uh, like, WWE Diva show. And it's a very lucrative business. Um, but, you know, he invites all the guys out there. And, um, yeah, they all, like, do the, do the, the you know, the... The, the, the slamming on the mat and it's like jb so i think i'm old like, i can't be getting down to get back up like that what the <laughs> uh clifton y'all know his bag busted but he's like oh i see all the men out there you know and i can't be no bitch on the sidelines and it's like what you be on the sideline i do what you be in the bitch nigga you hurt like so he flips the dude over throws him down it was a cute little yang yang. And then uh, they all just kind of start conversating. We see Black, y'all. Black is kind of making more of an appearance, you know, with the guys. And they basically just get to talking about working with your spouse. Immediately, them was like, don't do it. Don't do it. And Clifton was like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of on a hard spot because, you know, Joy, you know, that's my woman. But I got a partner right now. Her name, Carmen. They were like, her? <laughs> she? <laughs> Oh, Carmen and, and Quick was like, wait a minute, did y'all date? And then, because Black was confused, like, wait a minute, how'd y'all meet? And they met because they was interested in each other. And just that fact alone is going to make somebody real iffy, you know? Um, because it's hard to start like that and fall into the friend zone. And not that it's not possible, but yeah, that don't mean it don't keep no interest or no ideas from happening on either party's side so immediately the guys was like all right clifton you in a world of trouble like you go down this road wrong road wrong road <laughs> um but yeah you guys that was um you know love marriage dc like i said i might not review every episode but i'll come in you know check in and uh talk about what's going on like if there's a, if a good episode pop off or whatnot 
Um, if there's anything I missed or anything I want to talk about, drop down in the comments. How do you guys feel about Ashley this season? And throw in Joy's face. Uh, if uh, uh if it, if it would you would be here if it wasn't for me? How do you guys feel like little Jamie is going to you know operate you know after this situation? And what do y'all think he needs to just feel better about himself and you know and moving in life? Um yeah i just really find that very interesting and do you guys feel like um joy and ashley you know will ever be able to um you know reconcile and here's that thing should joy keep her good eye on it y'all drop the eye emojis if joy should drop if keep her good eye on image carmen y'all drop the eye emojis like i said down in the comments if y'all feel like joy need to keep her good eye on that heifer okay i appreciate y'all for tuning in follow me on instagram and twitter and i will catch y'all later deuces